I know it's counterintuitive, but one of the biggest components of becoming a better photographer is making a lot of mistakes. It's failing a lot. People don't want to talk about it. People don't want to admit it. They don't want to say, sometimes I suck, but we all suck sometimes. Tony and I are going to tell you about our suckiest moments. Okay, can I start? I have left the house without batteries or memory cards or either. Over and over and over again. I've done that before. I've driven all the way to a location with every other piece of gear packed up and ready to go. Multiple lenses, a plan in my mind. No memory card. Break my heart. The diopter. Sometimes it'll get hit in my bag and then I'll hold the camera up and everything will be blurry. And then I will proceed to spend like 10 minutes trying to figure out why my camera won't focus. Here's one. <sighs> my shame. Tripod legs? always make me feel like an idiot. I don't know if it's because I'm short or my arms are short, but there's like no graceful way to do it. You're like <laughs> Have you ever put your camera into bracketing mode and then you forget and you take about a hundred pictures? <laughs> that always makes me feel like such an idiot. Or I go out for night photography and I'm doing 30 second exposures and then the next day I pick it up and I'm shooting sports. And the first time I go to take a picture is like click, and then I'm like then waiting there. 30 seconds to take a picture. For a hundred years, everybody else has laughed. You're still waiting for the second click. You're like, click. Oh, I always oh. forget that I turn exposure compensation on and then all oh. my pictures are under or overexposed. I do that one all of the time too. Have you ever had a reason to turn image stabilization off? And then the next day you're like, yeah, I can shoot at 120th. That should be fine. No, nope, every picture. That one hasn't happened only because I'm as shaky as a chihuahua. So my shutter speed's always up about twice as much as yours. Have you ever edited a picture of a portrait and you're done and you're like, whoa, this picture is the bomb. And then you come back 20 minutes later and the eyes are crazy and <laughs> the person looks like a monster with plastic skin. I know y'all have done that. I've done that. It's shameful. I've even gone so far as to post it. Don't think people didn't tell me about my mistake. And we do it over and over again. And you know what? Professionals build that whole thing into their workflow. They'll just be like, oh yeah, I just come back and look at it like an hour later to make sure that I didn't do something crazy. Okay, we live and we learn. I've said to myself, two bars of battery life should be fine. <laughs> nope. Two bars Never is not enough. fine. I've said one battery will do. I'm just going out for the day. No, one battery will not do. I have packed up an entire backpack full of gear to go on a trip and I've only used one lens the whole time. That's an epic fail. Oh yeah, when you carry four pounds of gear, a dozen miles of walking through a city and you realize, yeah, I, I could have done just fine with one. Yeah, your arm falls off from carrying a hundred pounds of camera stuff and you didn't even need it. Oh, and the flip side is, uh, I'll just need this one lens. That'll be fine. You think you're gonna be doing wide angle and then you realize you're gonna do portraits the entire time and you're like, oh, that's what I get for trying to spare my back. Have you ever gotten a new camera to use and you forget to set the file format and then you shoot in like JPEG instead of raw plus JPEG and then you go to process your pictures and you're like, I'm a dumb piece of shit. I should be fine going out for night photography with this brand new camera. Then you realize you don't know where any of the buttons or dials are. And it's are. dark and you forgot your flashlight and also you're alone and you have no friends. Have you ever not used a feature in a while and then you're just like, no problem, I'll go into my menu system and I'll find it. And then you <laughs> get lost systems. in your menu system for 500 years and you die scrolling. My tripod has fallen over like a dozen times. One uh, time you put it on the beach and then a wave came and sucked the sand out from <laughs> beneath the legs of your tripod and we warned you and you still did it. One time the dog was running around, you know how they get the uh, spazzes? The puppy spaz, she was like, ah! And she just went right into your tripod. Right in the tripod. What about that switch that locks out some of the buttons? That lock switch that some cameras oh, have? No. And then suddenly your button's broken and you're like, ooh, did my camera get wet? Why is this broken? That happens to me on the D850. It's got that lock and it's so easy to flip it. Mm -hmm. And I'll be like, Tony, my camera did a little uh. Stupid flippy lock again. Or the little switchy lock on the SD cards gets moved and your camera won't write to the SD card. Oh, accidentally flipping switches. That's a problem in my world. I've done portrait shoots at high noon and thought, I'm sure I'll be able to find a spot where the light is nice. Sometimes I try to make a portrait client smile by bringing up something that I think is gonna be fun, but then it takes them to some super dark place and they end up all sad and morbid. And I'm like, I really brought up the wrong topic. I've been meaning to tell you, your portrait jokes, they gotta stop. <laughs> 
You ever go out all prepared to take photos? Maybe it's wildlife and you have to like go through some wetlands, but you wear flip flops? That was me and I think you know it. <laughs> <laughs> it broke my 5D Mark III, brand new. I often wear the wrong footwear. Have you ever shot a picture and not kept in mind the for final format? And then you're trying to put it in a frame and you've got to just cut your best friend out of the picture. Oh yeah, the client wanted eight by tens and now I have to cut out the bridesmaid. <laughs> you know what? Everyone thought she was kind of rude anyway. Goodbye, Becky. <laughs> Stupid Becky. You go out with a bag filled with 800 different components and then you're getting eaten alive by mosquitoes and you can't take any more pictures because you can't handle it because you didn't bring bug spray. Bug spray. The one thing. Those are just a few of the mistakes that we made. Everyone has made them. You don't have to feel embarrassed or feel like you should quit photography because you're not perfect. A lot of people won't admit to them, but we all make the same mistakes. So you can list some of your silliest mistakes down below. We can all commiserate, laugh about it, learn from it, move on and have some fun. Thanks for joining us. Until next time, stay snappy. I just made that up. <laughs> I know. Cool. Everybody knows you just made it up. It was really cool. <laughs> you know what trolls are going to say about this video, right, Tony? They're going to be like, I never, tripod legs are easy for me. I never forgot a card, because I was check first. It's called process, guys. You know, someone's going to write an article about it. Are Tony and Chelsea running out of content ideas? Ironically regurgitating the content they call unoriginal. I can just see it. I'm like a soothsayer of bullshit at this point.